going to get announced. Like, if we're talking about things that Xbox showcase, I think it will get announced that it will be going over, but it won't be the story. It'll be multiplayer. Multiplayer is free to play. Yeah. Why not put it on PlayStation? What? Yeah. It's weird, but I think that's going to happen. I wouldn't be. Sure. Welcome into Hot Mike Gaming. My name is Phil and this is Zach. This is our third episode here today and we're going to be talking about one of our new showcases that are going to be coming up this upcoming week, which is the Games Showcase. Yeah, the Summer Game Showcase, the Xbox Showcase as well. Well, I think it's called like the Summer Game Preview or something like that, but Jeff mm -hmm. Keighley puts it on every year. It's kind of like the new E3, Phil. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, Xbox is also going to have their own showcase, and they're going to then, uh, not Bethesda afterwards, but uh, Activision will be displaying the new Call of Duty. But there's a lot we want to talk about in regards to this, because as we're filming this, like this, this we're recording this a whole week in advance. So just so everyone knows, like the PlayStation yeah. Showcase is also, or the state of play has been announced. Um, we have obviously haven't watched it yet. We might try to do a reaction or live. So if we did do that and you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'll probably put a link above to somewhere on it yeah, where you can I'm go sure check out what we talked about. Somewhere in the connotations. Somewhere also. around there. Yeah. But Phil, we want we wanted to talk about uh, our predictions, basically. Yeah. And we have two things about this: what we're excited for, and what we are pretty sure is going to be there. Mm -hmm. And then our shot in the darks, like what we would love to fucking see. So uh -huh. we're going to go through each of the main things, like Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, and then the, like the miscellaneous, like who's not owned by them, like a Ubisoft, a uh, a Rockstar. Rockstar. type of thing like that that could show up anywhere in this time frame because a lot of studios like to push out their own thing so even if nintendo doesn't show up at the summer game show play, preview whatever the fuck it's called mm. then that's okay then maybe they'll have their own little event as well so yeah. but before we jump into that phil i know you're gonna want to know this we got to talk about how you been man I'm doing great. I've been having such a wonderful time playing all the video games. I've been absolutely hooked on the new season of Diablo 4. Nice. The, uh, the it's loot a good season. season. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what it's exactly called. But with the new adjustments to how they reworked the XP system, the monsters, and now they just like completely made it so that way Hell Tides are just every hour. You could just go in. I think I have. 18 hours clocked into my character so far and i'm already at level 97 that's like awesome it's, it's faster to level up it's easier to get to the end game you can actually do what you want it's super cool i love that I, fan. i've been a really big fan of diablo 4 like mm -hmm. i i've been a massive fan of diablo since i was a kid uh diablo 2 was always my favorite and i think 4 is kind of veering on that of being my favorite i still think 2 has like the best aesthetic of the overall but yeah i think the my first exposure to a mature game was when i was being babysat yeah i think i mentioned this in the first one was i think so being babysat and watching the person's like older brother play diablo 2 on the um on like the family computer in the living okay. room I love that. I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I love that. That was like my first introduction to it. Love that. Have you been playing anything else, or has that kind of just been your main go-to right um, now? Definitely Diablo 4. I've been playing The Division 2. If people haven't heard, they also did an entire itemization overhaul. Mm. So what I used to call was like the wizard build. You had to like just stick with the drones and the turrets. They did like the most DPS. Now they made it so that way class sets and armors actually do a really good job at the end game content cool. and you can do all sorts of stuff. I love and that. And uh, obviously, even though despite all the controversy, I'm a big Tarkov player. Okay. I absolutely love Tarkov. The mm -hmm. extraction shooter genre, I think is like the next big thing. So cool. I love that. How about you? Uh, for me, uh, Fallout 4's next gen update came out. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we talked about it last time or if I was just excited for it, but I've been playing that still. I kind of fell off of it finally though. Um, not because I got bored or anything, but I wanted to get back into Elden Ring because of Shadow of the Erd Tree, yeah. which I wasn't that excited for. I know we talked about it on the Into the Geek First podcast uh, that we did uh, last week. And necessarily, like, I was, I loved Elden Ring, but I, like, overplayed it. So, like, I, I kind of got exhausted of, like, Souls-like games because it, it, it mentally, like, takes from you. Like, just yeah. all this stuff you have to do. But... 
now I'm back into it. I feel refreshed. Um, I got to where I needed to do to start the DLC. I'm happy. I think I'm just going to grind now, like when yeah. I'm just like on the off chance. Uh, Diablo 4, I've also been playing with my dad, so that's fun. That's so cool that you play with your dad. I love how it's the one. <laughs> it's the one game he'll always play is that's a Diablo so awesome. game. He showed me Diablo 1, 2, we've played 3, 4, so it's always a thing. And then... Um, trying to think oh Fortnite, the new chapter came out that's right mad been max. all on that i love the car combat yeah like you said very mad max ish they have fallout also in there mm-hmm. i think i already clocked like 15 I, hours into yeah. this i think new that season. like my first battle pass i've bought since like oh you did end up buying it buying it it's dude it's a lot of fun i really like this season i know a lot of people are complaining about it but i like it for the casuals like it's cool like i'm not yeah. sweaty on it or anything so yeah. I'm having fun with that. I feel like there's another game I'm playing. Oh, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door remake. I bought that. Oh, man. Paper Mario is such a... It's a classic. Bro, it's, such a it's game. the original one for the GameCube is my favorite Mario yeah, game. So when they announced they were remaking it, I got so excited. Uh, I have not touched it yet, though. That's it, on the it, Switch, right? Yeah, it's on my yeah. Switch. I have it in the Switch. I just... I haven't had time. Oh, I guess I've been playing a lot. I played X Defiant as well. I tried that. Oh, yes. So let me... You haven't been able to play it because of... No, I've been on a PC, even with a 3090 and all the bells and whistles, I can't get it to like five frames a second. Which is totally cool because that's why I have a console and it works. And (laughs) it's, you know, you also have a PlayStation 5 that you could just download it on. Yeah, that sucks. Well, you're not able to. So yeah. I am able to play X Defiant. Um, and I've actually been very against this fucking game. Like, uh, so many different reasons. A lot of it is just Ubisoft pisses me off. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of these free-to-play shooters because in the end of the day, and again, X Defiant's not like that right now, but I think it will be, is they hook you in and it's like, hey, you know those battle passes that have been optional? Well, if you want to get good and you want to be good, you're going to have to use the weapons in there. Oh, you're going to have to buy them. Yeah. And I fucking hate that. So especially, I've been against it. Especially from Ubisoft, who has had such a bad track record with trying to nickel and dime everyone on yeah. everything. Yeah. Single player Assassin's Creed games coming with XP boosters. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see not just like weapon and XP boosters on like X Defy, mm-hmm. which they already do, but like actual weapons that you can't get other than paying for exactly which call of duty does call of duty pisses me off because it's a 70 dollars game doing that yeah but if x Def- i know x defiant's gonna do it i know they will it's when they do it but from right now what i can say because i'm just i'm just theorizing mm-hmm. it's from the creator of modern warfare one of the creators of modern warfare one two and ghost now i didn't like ghost but i like modern warfare one and two i love the combat in this i like how it feels i adjust the controls i i like the feelings yeah. and i'm always very specific with two types of guns because you can always make an assault rifle an smg all those shoot normal mm-hmm. how's your sniper feel and how's your shotgun feel yeah the shotgun i'm not a fully sold on but i love the sniping the sniping is feels so good it packs a punch and it's always one hit yeah i love that um for console i'm sure sniping's not a big of an issue but like on pc since everyone's using mouse and keyboard yeah. sniping is like everyone's go-to everyone yeah. uses it so i even though like i've done like 10 matches each like 30 seconds all i see is people using snipers yeah it's dude it's fun it's fun i like it um i, I just don't I disappoint the comparison me. to the gameplay i mm-hmm. forgot what game i think the gameplay feels similar i think i said it was like Homefront one yeah like multiplayer it's it's very yeah Homefront one is probably the best way to do it it has definitely a modern call of duty feel to it too yeah it's modern call of duty but it still kind of has I don't know if it, if I would say dated, but mm-hmm. it definitely feels like there's a clunk in there. Yeah. It's not as smooth as like Modern Warfare. No, not at all. So with that said, uh, that's what we've been playing. Those are our reviews of what we've been playing. I do want to get into Skur Ritual. I don't know if you've heard about that, that Call of Duty Zombies kind Actually, of game. Yes. yes I have it. I bought it. I have not touched it yet, though. Have I you? I heard so many good things about it. I've watched a lot of gameplay. It looks it's, cool. Yeah. It's, it's Call of Duty Zombies. zombies. Yes. Yeah. Which they announced Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, yeah, 6, is announced. It's the first Call of Duty, which 
I guess to kind of start off with it, let's just jump into the main topic here. Uh, we're going to talk about the Xbox Game Showcase, what we're excited for, what they're going to show, Shot in the Dark. We know Call of Duty is being shown there. We know it's going on Game Pass, which is cool because that means you can play it, mm-hmm. which makes me excited because then we can play it. Um, I'm still going to probably play on PlayStation. Yeah, but. it's finally like with all the news years ago with uh, Microsoft buying all these gaming yeah. companies and all these deals finally starting to come through. Xbox One or just like the Xbox Series has just been slacking in the games department. But this so. feels like the first year where all those things they bought might oh, actually come to fruition, which yeah, is it's so nice. This is one of them. So, you know, I think the last episode we talked a little shit about Xbox, Starfield yeah. and all that stuff, which I like Starfield. Like I, I liked it for what it was. It it didn't ruin Xbox reputation, mm-hmm. but it didn't it wasn't that you have to buy a console for this. Yeah, it's you and, play Starfield and you've been playing Fallout for mm-hmm. 10 years. Yeah. And space. then there's been rumors that a lot of the games from Xbox are going to slowly start trickling over and being multi-platform, which I think uh, Sea of Thieves is official, Hi-Fi Rush, mm-hmm. a couple others. There's been rumors of Halo moving over, which I actually think is real. I think Halo Infinite is going to get announced like if we're talking about things at Xbox Showcase, I think it will get announced that it will be going over, but it won't be the story. It'll be multiplayer. Multiplayer is free to play. Yeah. Why not put it on PlayStation? What's, yeah. It's weird, but I think that's going to happen. I wouldn't be shocked if we start seeing Gears over there, um, some other things. But I'm jumping ahead. I want to talk yeah. about finish my Call of Duty thing. Call of Duty has burned me every year, almost. Mm-hmm. I play them. I enjoy them. I have a, a mutual friend of ours, Curtis. He that's the only game he fucking plays. Yeah. So I play with him, and I enjoy it. Like the combat's good. There's just a lot of sweats, and I'm just overall. I miss the days of Call of Duty Modern Warfare one, two, Black Ops one and two and three, even four. Like I just miss those days. The combat, mm-hmm. the way it was. It's I miss the arcade like thing of Call of Duty. Yeah, and they have not had that since honestly probably Black Ops four, where they used the new engine for Modern Warfare one and. I don't expect Black Ops 6 to go back for, Mm -hmm. you know, the arcade type thing of it. But they've also been pumping these things out like fucking McDonald's Happy Meals. I know. It was uh, was a big bummer Mm -hmm. to hear that, like, Modern Warfare 2 was, like, really good story-wise and everything. And it made a billion dollars. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, this is going to be the era where Call of Duty takes a bit of a break. And 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 lets the game cook. And then they're like, oh, we just got a billion dollars. Fucking send it. Modern Warfare 3. And they did an add-on. It was a glorified add-on. It was a glorified add-on that they were like, just scrap it, take it out, and put a full price tag on it. Yep. And I was like, dude, that's so rough. Yeah, but I will give credit where credit is due. This is the first Call of Duty in years to have a four-year gaming cycle. That means they spent four years making this game. That's crazy. But you know how typically they crack them out in like a year and a half, two years? Mm -hmm. They've been playtesting this for two years, which is, from my understanding, it's the longest they've ever got to playtest a Call of Duty game in probably over a decade, which is huge because that means they've had two years to fine-tune the whole game. Mm Mm-hmm. Not just multiplayer, but also zombies, which is round base, which is the reason there's three people who play Call of Duty. There's people who enjoy the campaign, play the campaign every year. Yeah. There's people who just play buy it for just the multiplayer. And then there's honestly people who just buy it for zombies. I am one of the people who will buy a Call of Duty game just for zombies, and I can instantly put 125 hours in and get my seventy dollars worth of it because oh. of just zombies. Cold War, I think I had two hundred and fifty hours on that game. And I think 180 of it was literally just zombies mode. I would just play by myself. I love zombies. Very excited to see what they can do with this Call of Duty. It's still Activision. I know it's Treyarch. I still might get fucked. I just hope it's a good game. That's what I want. Especially with it being on Game Pass now. Yeah. I feel like even though we did get burned, it's nice to know that we can actually just play the game. We might not get all the features knowing Activision. We probably would have. The sales are going to be interesting on this one. Because you have people who, obviously, I'm going to buy it on PlayStation. But you're going to get it on Xbox. But that doesn't go towards a sale. Yeah, it doesn't. So it's going to be two different things. But it is smart that Xbox is doing this because they need it. Alongside the rest of the showcase, uh, I'm going to kind of run down some 
things we assume are going to be there. So we number one is Avowed. That's coming out this year. That's that new fantasy game from the developers of Fallout New Vegas. Mm-hmm. And what did they make? Outer Outer Worlds? Outer, Outer Worlds. That was a really fun game. It was a fun game. Are you excited for a fantasy kind of Oblivion Skyrim type of development on this? I am. Um, I'm not a big fan into like fantasy. I think... The biggest thing that I really was hooked on, like, of course, I love Skyrim. Mm-hmm. After I played the one playthrough, I kind of stopped, though. Yeah. Uh, Oblivion was, like, my deal. Like, yeah. I absolutely loved Oblivion. Uh, I could be, well, I could be wound into the fantasy setting, but it's mostly based on, like, how much freedom I get to do. Which Outer, stuff. Outer Worlds gave you a lot. There was a yeah. lot. Like, that's cool. Yeah. Like, uh, I love the mechanics where, like, if you shot someone in the eyes, they could be blinded. Mm-hmm. And the full pacifist playthrough was cool. I think it was just a little bit too linear for people's tastes. I'm okay with that, though. They, I know they're making a second one. I think mm-hmm. that one's supposed to be more it linear, too. It's kind of too. like uh, if you ever played, like, the Metro games, they have, yeah. like, open world linear sections. You yeah. Know, you kind of get to go around and do things, but... It wasn't the Fallout New Vegas that everyone hoped for and mm-hmm. they advertised, and that, that kind of left people disappointed, yeah. I can tell. Fair enough. I'm excited for Avowed. I loved Outer Worlds. I love New Vegas. I'm excited to see what they portray here. Uh, I think it's rumored to come out in November of this year, so that'll be cool. Mm-hmm. Jumping in from there, uh, the Indiana Jones game is another obvious, clear one that's going to be there. Um, that's from the creators of Wolfenstein. I don't know if I'm sold on the first person view still, but it is Wolfenstein's creators yeah. and you have an Indiana Jones coming game coming from them. That's perfect match. Mm-hmm. I'm still very excited for it. I think this game is going to be awesome. The two first um, Wolfensteins were such a blast. They were like, fantastic. They were so fun. Yeah. They're just great. And I think they'll do a good job of like making things just really fun and Mm -hmm. super action packed i also think they announced that this is going multi-platform i think this this will not be an exclusive anymore i think they i think microsoft needs the money Mm -hmm. and you're leaving money on the table by not putting indiana jones on a playstation Mm -hmm. uh or maybe even a nintendo switch too which we'll talk about soon yeah um another thing i think with this see at the xbox game showcase we know we're getting the starfield dlc um i'm interested to see because bethesda's done a really good job in the past on some dlcs Will this be one of them? We'll yeah. see. Apparently, vehicles might make an enhance. If they put vehicles in Starfield, I actually might jump back in. That's cool. Another thing, multi-platform for this, too. Yeah. What do you think? Are you excited I, for this? I, I know you kind of fucking gave up on it. But. Yeah, I think I have like 10 hours in yeah. Starfield. It's, it just felt like playing Fallout. Yeah. yeah. I could do all the same So are you going to things... jump back in? Like, if you yeah. like the DLC, how it looks, or no? Maybe. I'll see. Okay. It's just kind of like another time commitment yeah. to these games Fair enough. so many games like require so much mm-hmm. like play me play me otherwise you lose this or yeah play me play me because you have to do it for a hundred hours yeah so uh one game that i am super excited to see and hope for in this showcase is one that i've been begging about for years hmm. and that's stalker 2 oh yeah it's got to be there that's right with the i think it's september 11th release date um I'm just so pumped, obviously, with everything that goes on yeah. that's going on over there. It's it's heartbreaking to see that like the game has gotten delayed and you know, I feel for the developers and I just hope that they got to put in the passion and the love that they hope mm-hmm. that they can to put into this game and I'm so excited for it. I'm a big Stalker fan. I loved the first three games, which I think they put on Game Pass as well in preparation for this i think they actually had a console release of the first three games so that might be one of the games that i actually recommend to you as well to play through okay Um, i'm down oh yeah we're gonna start a new segment uh talking about things that we need to play we'll 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 get that at the end yeah we'll do that Um, at the end i did pull up the leaks uh because i wanted to pull up this is what's been technically leaked and we're gonna go off this so i'm just gonna Mm -hmm. run down this real fast uh perfect dark gameplay uh, it's apparently we're going to be the opener. I'm very interested in this. I love the original Perfect Dark. Uh, it's definitely not one that I've gone back and played, but I remember just instantly playing it and being like, yeah. this is a fucking cool game. First game to get on the Xbox 360 when it came out. Yeah. That, and there was that one weird game. I think it was called like Karma or something. Yeah. Like I'm curious to see who's making it, though. So that's what I'm actually looking up right now. Um, but it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. Let me see. who Crystal Dynamics is making it. 
who made what? oh Tomb Raider and Legacy of yeah, Kane. Okay, that's, that's right. okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm up next that. is Fable, the new mm-hmm. one, which I I fucking love Fable so much. I loved one, two, and three. I know one is the best one, but like two and three had its own charm to it. Dude, I loved Fable too. I can't I can't oh. believe uh, it's been this long since we've had yeah. a Fable game. But you have the people who make for uh, uh, Forza Horizon making this playground games or whatever they're called. I'm really sold on this. I like the last trailer we got. Mm-hmm. It was in engine most of it. Yeah. This is the gameplay. It's supposed to come out spring 2025. Sell me. Again, Xbox, this is your chance to be like, this is the reason you need to buy an Xbox. Yeah. Don't make me... Because I've been this close. Look at me. I've been this close. All my consoles are in my room. Mm-hmm. I've been this close to just putting it out in the fucking living room. Because I never touch it. Yeah. And I'm like, if I'm going to play it, I'll play it with my wife. Mm-hmm. This close. If it gets moved to the living room, it's barely getting touched. Yeah. Even more. So... I'm just hoping <laughs> that this is kind of the comeback that Microsoft really they needs. They need it. They, 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 they've fucking needed one like yeah. seven years ago. There's Anyways, no reason to get an Xbox. Yeah. I'm so excited for Fable though. I hope this I hope this trailer's great. Mm. I really hope it's great. Uh, it's got to check a couple different boxes, but I'm good. Uh, we already talked about Avowed. Apparently Avowed is this November. Indiana Jones, December. Starfield, September. And then a Fallout 3 remaster. Uh, coming this October, apparently. Uh, which engine is it? Is it just mm. Fallout 4's engine? Uh. Like, okay, like, there's a certain aesthetic to have it just in the Fallout 4 engine. Like, that's cool. That'll mm. be the definitive way you play Fallout 3. And if someone asks me now what Fallout game to start off on, I'd probably just say the remaster version of Fallout 3. It's the yeah. best. It's the best story I think Fallout's ever told. New mm. Vegas, obviously, but... Which engine? Who made it? Is it Bethesda that made it? Did they pass it off to someone else at Xbox Game Studios? I hope that it's not on the creation engine. It I, probably is. Let's be honest. I know. It's going to make me cry, dude. I I'm know. tired of it. But, but but again, it's a, a remaster. Yeah. But also, it's not a remake. It's a remaster. So how new does it actually look? Mm-hmm. How new is it going to look? I'm curious about is if they're like going to the carry GTA the... <laughs> I wonder if they're going to carry like the gunplay mechanics over, mm. like actually being Maybe. able to aim down sights, or if they're going to refresh a lot of the things. Yeah. Like uh, Death Claws and Fallout 4, they move around very yeah. differently. They crawl, they dig in the ground, stuff like that. I hope that I, I could see that kind of like gameplay mechanics into mm-hmm. Fallout 3 Remaster. I hope it's more than just retextured on the same engine plays exactly the same because I've been playing those games this, the exact same for 15 years yeah. now. So no, I, get that. <laughs> I get that. Uh, the next leak is a game called South of Midnight. This was actually shown. At, I think the last one, I'll show you the picture. I think, I don't know if you saw the trailer. It was like the guy playing mm. the banjo. The animation looked cool in the trailer. I just, we don't know what genre it is or anything like that. So I'm excited. Uh, this leak says it looks bleh. 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 What's it called again? South of Midnight. South of Midnight. Sounds cool to me. Okay. Next up is Overdose's trailer, which, if you don't know what this is, this is the new Kojima game he's making over at Microsoft. Interested. Uh, the first trailer was cool. It had Jordan Peele and him came out and premiered it, and it was freaky. Mm-hmm. It's a new horror game. That's about it. I don't have anything else to say about it uh, other than it's Kojima. Hey, you I'm know in. What? Just like with this previous horror record being PT, I'm. I'm I'm all bored. Yeah. So so this one gets me excited. I don't know if I believe this one, but apparently a new Banjo and Kazooie game will be revealed for, with from Toys for Bob, who made the Skylanders, but they most notably did the Crash oh. Bandicoot remaster. Okay. They did Crash Bandicoot Four. They did the Spyro one. If you announce a new Banjo and Kazooie game, I'm so in. They are one of my favorite platformers. But I'll also tell you this, Phil. I need a remaster of the Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo and Tui. Oh, yeah. You know what was one of my favorite Banjo-Kazooie games? Which one? Nuts and Bolts. Do you know, infamously, like, most fans of Banjo and Kazooie fucking hate that game? I know they do. I don't know why. I liked it. it. I liked it, too. It was so cool to just, like, build your own vehicle. I remember Mm -hmm. I had, like, the demo downloaded on the 360, and I made myself a little TIE fighter, and it was flying around. I'm like, that's so cool. Can I tell you one game that we fucking need? 
again. Hmm. I need Conquer. Oh. Bro, Microsoft owns the rights to Conquer. Like, bro, do a Banjo and Kazooie and Conquer team up. Oh, that would be cool. Definitely would be um, an interesting dynamic, especially. Do you know where such... Conquer first showed up in? What? The DD Kong racing game. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, That's the first crazy. place he ever showed up in. That's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah. You know what? Um, they did have him for whatever the Microsoft project that they had. It was like kind of oh, like similar dreams. The dreams, yeah. Yeah. It, I don't even know if that got canned. Or I think that, it did. Yeah. Anyways, next up, we apparently have a leak on a Lost Odyssey remaster announced. Do you ever play Lost Odyssey? No, I never I played not. it, but I remember the cover of it. Yes, I remember that. So I'm actually kind of interested because I always wanted to play it, but I never got to. So if that comes out to be an announcement, cool. Mm-hmm. The next few things uh, that will get teased, uh, it, they'll tease throughout the thing, uh, the next-gen Xbox, which is fucking dumb. Do not do that. Do no. not tease. Maybe you do a pro version. That's fine. But apparently they have a handheld, which the handheld makes the most sense, especially with the Steam Deck and all those yeah so it's going to be working like a steam deck or is probably it like... it'll probably be like the okay, steam deck I... which i'd actually wouldn't be i actually wouldn't mind getting because if you have game pass and it's all connected and you just download it to the damn device like yeah that's a really good thing i just worry because like some of the games they are um that are on game pass they are like high um demanding yeah but you so, can... like as far as like performance yeah so it'd be curious to see how strong it will be yeah and how i mean well if the steam deck can run a lot of these things like, mm-hmm. if they can put the witcher on the fucking switch i'm sure we're good yeah it just depends it's just it's not gonna be 120 frames per second like mm-hmm. the console so but the last thing that i am so excited about and i really hope is true i know one of them is is gears of war 6 being announced officially and i think that'll be the big game for next year Gears of War is my favorite gaming franchise of all time. I really hope this is up to debate. I loved five. I need six now. Mm-hmm. Are you excited for six? I am excited for six. Um, I know it's just kind of like the last game of that trilogy. Trilogy. So it would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've I been actually, cooking for a long time. Yeah, they've been cooking for quite a bit. I actually played Gears Tactics. I liked that. That one was cool. Yeah, I didn't mind it, but... XCOM, yeah. Gears of War, that was fun. The last thing to also announce is Gears of War 1 through 3 remaster on Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, that, which, that that's also exciting. I think I'm more excited for that than I would be for Gear 6. Because I just like gears. The first three gears have made oh, such like great impact. I think they're so they're the best third person shooters ever made. Yeah, like two and three. Like one, one I love because it's straight up horror game. Mm-hmm. It is a fucking horror game. The two and three definitely had the horror tone, but it definitely went more action. Yeah, but like two and three are like next level awesome. If you remaster three, though, please do the DLC when you get to play as Ty and that group, and they go up against General Ram. Please, cool. please, please keep the DLC. Uh, the thing with this, though, is I definitely want to ask you. So that's what's been leaked. What are, like, two shot in the darks that they could be positive things that you're hoping to see or things that you just think might happen? I think what might happen... Well, I was, I, we already talked about it. I feel like they would announce the like the multi like what exactly, multi-platform yeah what exactly is going to go on multi-platform mm-hmm. it, especially oh. with all the rumors that are going around speaking about that doom yeah i forgot i don't know what this leak had but doom is supposed to be shown there oh, too doom. the new doom yeah oh, so doom, doom or doom, doom d-o-o-m doom. okay yeah that is definitely one that um that'll be multi-platform yeah, too yeah i'm i'm excited for doom um i'm just i really want to know where microsoft stands with a lot of these games and i feel like i know that they said that they're moving away from games uh from games and i want but i really think that they can make a comeback with especially this kind of like stacked roster yeah i think they can i think they could be a good competitor like they used to be i i was an xbox fanboy growing up i didn't have a ps3 or yeah. ps4 and it sucks to say to just be like yeah, don't get an Xbox because they're not worth it. Yeah, they're they're not. they're not worth it. I have one, and I don't. I I literally just feel like I've been like stabbed in the fucking heart every year. Yeah, <laughs> owning one. You you look at it, and you're like, man, the new God of War looks cool, and you look at the Xbox catalog, and you're like, oh, I don't have like anything. honestly. The only reason <laughs> I bought a the last Xbox, the Xbox One X, I didn't buy it right day one. I bought it for Titanfall. Was the first yeah. one. I was like, this game fucking awesome, and I played the shit out of the first Titanfall. Mm-hmm. 
and then Sunset Overdrive, and then just pfft, nothing. Yeah. Like, nothing. And then I think I, Gears and stuff like that. And then the new Xbox, the only reason I bought it first day was to do a review on it. Like, that's mm-hmm. literally the only re- Like, I... And I had nothing to try out with it. Remember, they did, like, oh Halo. Goodness. That's So right. the only thing they had day one was the upgrade for Gears 5, which put it on the new stuff, 120. And it was cool playing on that. Mm-hmm. But it was, like, nothing. Um, so, yeah. Okay. That's your shot in the dark. Yeah. I just... I want their stance, and I want them to double down. I really okay. want them to continue on these games. I think we need the competition. I th- mm-hmm. No, I agree. It. I agree. So let me ask you this. I want to ask you, what is one thing that you wish would be there? I just want soccer there so bad. No, no, no. Like that. That's but it's like something that like you want there, but probably won't ever be there. Stalker has a chance to be there. What's a good Xbox exclusive? I have one off the top if you want me to go yeah, first. Go for it. Uh, I would love if they announced a Prey remake of the original oh Prey. Goodness, the yeah. remake. Like an like that original one. It will never happen. It'll mm. never fucking happen. But I would love it. So You know what would be cool? Um, I would love to see like a remaster of some of the Lost Planets. Oh yeah, those, those would be cool. Xboxes. But those would be oh, were they? Xbox? I'm pretty sure they were. I think Xboxes. the first one was. I think the oh. two and three. I think ended up going to uh, PlayStation. Okay. But um, last thing, I want to throw one more shot in the dark. I think this is definitely a shot in the dark. I think Game Pass goes to PlayStation. You really think that? Yeah. You know what? Though? There was it leaks. Is a lot of... There was leaks that they were going to change it to the Microsoft. Uh. Uh, game pass it's not a hard thing to assume i know playstation has their own yeah but it's like it's still a competitor to like subscriptions right so yeah, but playstation sucks so <laughs> yeah the the ps plus stuff is kind of yeah I, I don't really see much out of it but the whole thing is the membership goes there i mean playstation is gonna make money too because it's on their console yeah. So, like, for me, it's a win-win. I, I don't know. It's mm. interesting to me. Yeah. It's a shot in the dark. Maybe it doesn't happen. Maybe it does. That's the one thing. I, I could see it. I think it would be interesting. Yeah. But... I, you know what I do think it goes to? For mm. sure. Nintendo Switch 2. Yeah. Which is our great segue to what will Nintendo announce? Now, obviously, Nintendo right now is not confirmed to be at any of these things. They might not even show up at all. Um, but I still want to talk about some small things. So, obviously, we're going to see the Switch 2 soon uh it's it was supposed to come out later this year but i think it got delayed to next year we know nintendo is perfectionist we know they probably want to have the great marketing leading up i imagine we get an announcement of the switch 2 this summer what do you think i definitely think we are going to see the switch 2 this summer um i with the release next spring yeah that's what i think yeah yeah i think it would be a good point to just kind of move because how long has the switch been out it's It's been been out for a decade I'm really? pretty sure. I'll look it up. But no I'm way. Pre- it's been out for a decade. Are I'm... we really that old? Yes. <laughs> Let me look it up. 2017. So, okay. So what? Not a decade yet. Seven years. Yeah. Yeah. It, I'm sure it's about time. Um, if they do like whatever it is, a Switch 2. Mm-hmm. Switch 2, I'm hoping to just see better performance, better game. Like, Do you think it looks such... the same? Do you think it, it has to look the same? Yeah. I think uh, Nintendo gets away with looking the same for through the years because their yeah. artist style and the but games do you think there's release? like anything unique to it like from the game boy to the ds like is there anything that they do uniquely to this because they're gonna call they're, it probably just the they're Switch always too. yeah they're always innovative especially like when they moved from yeah. the gamecube to the wii and then they had the wii u and then which the, the wii u was cool but it was basically a prototype for the switch yeah I could probably see some advancement in like how the controller scheme is. Maybe, yeah. That's how I would see it. That and like the way how you use your screen. Maybe they'll do like, I'm sure they probably already have it like seamless. Like you could see it on your TV and the thing at the same time. Not right now, no. Not right now. I could see something like that and incorporating games where you need to use it. Like maybe that'd be cool. You know what I? So I guarantee it'll be an OLED screen because mm-hmm. they already have the OLED. I guarantee it'll be like a Steam. The perfect world is this. It's this lower powered Steam Deck, yeah. basically, that you can play. Like, I think the last specs that leaked were like it was like a PlayStation 4 Pro, basically, is what it could play, which PlayStation 4 Pro can 
you can play The Last of Us 2 on there. You can play Ghost of Tsushima. You can play God of War Ragnarok. Like, the games look phenomenal on there. Yeah. So, if you're able to play it on a... Can you imagine playing a Legend of Zelda game? Oh. Or, like, a Super Mario Odyssey or Smash Brothers? That, that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. So, we know it's backwards compatible, which is a big thing. That is good. And then it leaked that the next COD would also eventually go on there. So, that's also big. I'm very excited to see what Nintendo does. In terms of, like, what games I'd want them to start off on... Um, what I this is what a perfect world for me would be is they say that most games get like a, a bump so like uh, Tears of the Kingdom get a 4K 60 frames bump Paper Mario gets a 4K 60 but what I really want to see is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess remaster it's been fucking done it's oh. literally done it just needs to come out I want that to be day one and then in terms of what I want also is like an exclusive for that Super Mario, a new Super Mario game, whether it's mm. Super Mario Odyssey 2 or a new Galaxy. They recently came out with uh, Mario Maker 2, right? Uh, I think last year. I don't really care for yeah. those, so that's just yeah. me, though. Uh, the only reason why I ask is because it seems like they let those be kind of like the new stable for Mario because mm-hmm. it's so much um, open-ended creativity. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I would love to see Super Mario. Mm-hmm. I would love to see Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, a new one. Yeah. That'd be cool. Or maybe even a Wario World, if you ever remembered that. I remember Wario World. Yeah. That that was underrated. I liked the one for the... Was it the GameCube? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think they need something like super unique. I would mm-hmm. love to see whatever the third game for the Zelda games have been coming out. Oh, Breath yeah. Of the Wild. I'll be right... I'll tell you right now, though, I better not get another one of those fucking games. I want something new. Yeah. I want something. I am I was so against Tears of the Kingdom. Really? It, yeah, because I was just like, I like when Zelda games when each one's different mm-hmm. than the last. It, whether it's art style, whether it's gameplay. And I was so disappointed that they just went and did another one. And then I played Tears of the Kingdom and I'm like, yeah, it's phenomenal. But guess what? I will never play Breath of the Wild again. I have zero reason to ever play it again. Mm-hmm. It's the exact same map, just bigger. Oh, okay. With better gameplay better customization, better everything. Literally in every single department, Tears of the Kingdom is better than Breath of the Wild. Wow. Like, you know how you're, like, you're all on the ground? Mm-hmm. So you have the ground, then you have underground the map, and on, up high. You have three oh, wow. different maps to go to. It, it's fucking great. Um, that's just me. Uh, Nintendo, another thing, new Mario Kart I want announced. That's what yeah. I want. That would be my shot in the dark. Well, no, my shot in the dark would be they announced Double Dash 2. Or a remaster, a remake of Double Dash, Mario Kart I Double Dash. I don't know what that is. It's for Mario Kart, it's the GameCube one. Oh, okay. With the two of them in the cart, you remember? Oh, yeah. Um, what about you? Any shot in the dark that you'd want to see from Nintendo? Like I said, I think Luigi's Mansion would be great. I'm a big fan of that. Can I be honest? What? I'm not a fan of those fucking games. You don't? Bro, know? I own every single one, and I've just know. never... Like, the first one is the best. Mm-hmm. But I just, I don't know what it is. Like, I loved the first one as a kid, and as I've grown up, I just don't care for them. I don't know what it is. Like, the third one, I was so excited for. I got halfway through, and I was like, eh, I'm over it. They're cool. I like the aesthetics, though. I like Mm -hmm. the aesthetics, Phil. All right, next is PlayStation. Let's talk about PlayStation. So, same deal as above. Uh, What are we excited for? Shot in the dark. So, obviously, the state of play is already gone on as this is going on. So, we can't speak to that. Uh, So, it gets a little bit more interesting uh, in terms of talking about PlayStation. So let's talk about things that maybe Jeff Keighley might show there. He's really close with Kojima, so I imagine Death Stranding 2 mm-hmm. goes on there. Other than that, I mean, maybe Ghost of Tsushima 2 gets announced as well. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. It's been, been in development for, for a while, yeah. so we know Sucker Punch has been working on it. I'm trying to think maybe that's their big game for next year with Death Stranding 2. Mm-hmm. They do a really good job of narrative stuff. Um, they yeah. got a lot of good IPs. I don't know if we'll see. Maybe we might see a teaser for the third God of War. Well, I don't think. Well, I'll tell you right now. I don't think we see that one. I know they're working on it. I don't think we see the next God of War till the end of this life cycle. Till this, uh, the end of the PlayStation 5 life cycle. Mm-hmm. I do think, though, you did uh, Santa Monica, the studio who makes them. I think they're going to I think there's a chance we see their next game cuz they're working on two games right now. Okay. Same with Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog is working on one and another one which is probably Last of Us 3. Mm-hmm. That other one I'm very interested in. 
then you also have the Uncharted remake that's apparently being made, Ooh. which is interesting to see. So there's all these projects in development. What I really want to see from PlayStation, I don't know what they showed at that state of play. Apparently, the state of play is only going to be what's coming out in the next few months. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping the showcase, because I think uh, previous years they had a PlayStation State of Play and then like they did the showcase. And like for Spider Man 2, it was like they showed Spider Man 2 there, no release date. And then the showcase was like, here's the release date. And it's like, cool. Like, mm-hmm. could have just fucking done that there. So, interesting stuff. Let's just do a lot of shot in the darks or more yeah. of what do we want PlayStation to do? I really want a new Jack game. A new Jack and Daxter? Yeah, okay. Jack and Daxter. I, I, I would actually I, be interested if been... Toys for Bob did those. The ones who just did uh, Crash and Spyro and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it's just been an IP that hasn't been touched in a long mm-hmm. while. And I think it would just create a lot of excitement around PlayStation, especially with how good Rift Apart did. Oh, Rift Apart's amazing. So, like... I would not be surprised to see at least one of those, whether it's like another Ratchet and Clank announcement mm-hmm. or a Jack and Baxter. You you, you reminded me of something saying uh, talking about Ratchet and Clank because Insomnia makes Spider Man. Mm-hmm. They're gonna announce the DLC for Spider Man. Oh yeah, that, which you haven't played so the true. game. Can I give you my theory of who I think it is? Hmm. It spoils the game though. Is that okay? Oh. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? I have to wait another year to buy. Oh, wait, no, I could get Spider-Man 2 right now. Yeah, have you have a fucking 5. PlayStation. <laughs> um, I think Carnage is going to be the is oh, going to be okay. the DLC. Or at least one of the DLCs. Maybe not the first one, but I definitely think he'll be one of the DLCs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's... Because Insomnia had that terrible leak earlier this year, which is basically their lineup. Oh, so we'll probably yeah. get maybe Wolverine gameplay uh, for a release date of next year. There's been rumors that they're making another X-Men game. They're making another Spider-Man game. Obviously, they're going yeah. to. They're making a Venom game, apparently, and then another Ratchet and Clank, which is cool. I like Insomniac. Yeah. Um, for me, something else Insomniac made back in the day, I'd love a new Resistance or a remake of the original trilogy. I think that's the one thing Sony's actually missing is not having a first-person shooter. Oh, yeah. And speaking of first-person shooters, there's another one that I think we would both love to see come mm-hmm. back. And I honestly don't want a new iteration of it. I just want them to remaster the first three again. Yeah, and that's kill zone. Yeah, I'm assuming it's kill zone. Yeah, it's kill zone. Kill zone is such a great IP. We were it's... just looking at the gameplay of that guy playing on the private server for kill zone two. Yeah, that looked amazing. And yeah. it's like it's so cool. Um, they have such a great aesthetic. I think they kind of lost their way after mm-hmm. three with like what they wanted the yeah. game to look and I feel. Love um, but the first two games I hold so close to my heart. Mm-hmm. I think they're great. Uh, they're gritty first person shooters. I I really think Sony could get a really easy win by easy re- win. Yeah, by easily remastering. Well, the first and that's two games. the thing. So I, I'm a big Sony fanboy. I love Sony, and I know a lot of people complain about just make new shit, just make new shit. But I also like making sure that our future kids, future children, future generations can play these games easy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. You don't have to go find a PS3, a PS2, hook it up, which, again, you can probably go to your pawn shop and find one, but yeah. then you got to find the game. Is the game easy to find? Sometimes they are. Do you have to order it? Like, some retro games are expensive. I have the Killzone trilogy for the PS3, and it cost me $65 at my local game store. That's so, crazy. Like, again, 60 bucks when it probably came out, but, like, still $65 today, so what will it be a couple of years from now when all these games are a little bit harder to find and all that stuff. So I, you know what I'd love to see PlayStation do this is a shot in the dark and I know it's possible because Xbox does it backwards compatibility announced that you can put any of these discs in and it works again. I don't know the technology of it all, Yeah, but clearly it's possible if Xbox is able to do it with 360 games original and I know not all of them work, but like they're working on those back catalogs. Yeah. So let's do it here. That I, would be a cool thing to announce. Yeah, especially... In and it's an easy a, win. Yeah, especially with the world going to such a uh, digital age. Yeah. It, the biggest concern is, like, even with movies and any kind of forms of media, yeah. if the servers go off or you have no connection, what are you going to do? Yeah. And I think it would be a good way to preserve our, um, like, the legacy of like video games to have this backwards mm-hmm. compatibility and to keep that in mind in future generations of consoles and yeah. everything. No. Because it's it's important. It's like uh 
I think it's just like a human project that yeah. everyone bands together for five years or whatever it, the development is, and yeah. they create this piece of art, and we should be able to have that preserved in yeah. some way. Do you want, I know there's another thing you haven't talked about yet, that you do want, a Knights of the Old Republic remaster. Yes. Where is it at? I know. It's... Uh, I don't think it's officially can. Like that, that's the dumbest thing. If it is, like yeah. someone has to make it. it. Give it to Blue Point, who just did Demon Souls. I know it's crazy because the the rumors of it being canned because of the removal of the trailer online. You can't find the trailer for the game mm-hmm. anymore. PlayStation's kind of like wiped their hands clean of that, and it makes me worried because that's what like if it is can. I'll tell you right now, Microsoft would be fucking stupid. To not go, fuck. They don't own Bioware, but like I would almost like go and make Bioware do it. Yeah. Um. But I know they're doing like two other games right now. But like, make someone at one of your fucking studios make the game. Yeah. It's you're not like. It's that is printing money. You're if not you made making a, good, a story. No, you you're literally just redoing you take it. the fucking game and you just upgrade it. You just update it to modern day gameplay and modern day graphics. Mm-hmm. That's it. Done. Push the money out. That's it. Yeah, it's an easy print of money, in my opinion. Easy, so easy print. I, I hope it doesn't get canned because it's a it's an important game. Yeah. I think it's great. Well, other than studios owned by someone, you know, we mm-hmm. have uh, Take Two with Rockstar, uh, Gearbox. You have Ubisoft. Um, anything else you assume we'll see? I think in terms of like for me, I, I could potentially see a Borderlands Four being announced well it's actually already been leaked out that it's being made Mm -hmm. but i could potentially seeing it coming there making some mostly because the movie is coming out in august so that's like a big thing so they'll probably do a trailer for the movie or vice versa do yeah they'll do a trailer for the movie and then be like coming next year borderlands 4 um it's been a while since borderlands 3 uh let me actually look that up because three release date it was 2019 so you know, they supported the game for how many years after that? Uh, quite a few. So 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24. We had Tiny Tina's Dungeon like two years ago. I would say it's time for a new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, a new Borderlands would be really cool. Um, as far as like company stuff, uh, I expect Ubisoft to make an announcement for The Division 3. Okay, that's a good one. And also Star Wars Outlaws. And Star Wars So Outlaws. they got three things they could talk about. That, so they got Division 3. Uh, and specifically because uh, tell them why you think the division three. So just like a quick history background, I'll just run through it as fast as I can. When they made the first division, it had a rocky launch, especially with like the atomizations yep. and the way how the loot yep. worked. So they overhauled it a year after, and so everyone was super happy. They did a dev stream, and they were like, "What's next?" And they were like, first things first, no expansion." It was pretty much like announcing that they're not going to do anything big for the game. Yeah. But that was because after that, they announced the Division 2. And with the Division 2, they also said that they gave it that they're going to get five years worth of support. And it's actually year five in the Division 2 right now. Um, they did all their seasons. They're still getting support. And I still see that they're going to have a next season. I'm not very well caught up in that. But it's near that end of the cycle of where they said. And they did the, what is kind of like the same itemization overhaul and loot overhaul in February to kind of reinvigorate the game. And so my theory is that they're going to come in, they did this, that way they could get people back in the division, start thinking about the game, start playing the game again, and then boom, Division 3 coming out, whatever the support might be. Smart, smart. That's the way that I kind of see it. Yeah. I'd be um, open to it. Uh, then Star Wars Outlaws, I hope they give me more to get excited for it. Uh, we talked about the controversies of it. Um, mm-hmm. It seems like they've... It's more of a... like uh, Even though it's called a season pass, it's more of like an add-on type of thing. Like how you'd buy from Call of Duty, you get four maps and stuff. It's like yeah. you get, okay, that's cool. Fine, give me that. Uh, you know what I would love to see from Ubisoft, though? I know they're going to show Assassin's Creed, but yeah. I would love to see a new Rayman game. Oh, that would be bro. Yeah, that'd Their be last so cute. stuff they were doing with Rayman, the two D side scrolling stuff, was awesome. Mm. Origins was phenomenal. They um, did release that uh, Prince of Persia. 
to oh, do. Oh shit, I forgot they did do that, but they also have Sands of Time remake that they've been making. Yes. So will that finally be shown? Or? That would be cool to see. Yeah, because it got delayed because everyone looked at it and they're like, this isn't a remake. It literally looks like the same fucking game. Yeah. Like, so um, interesting there. I want to see GTA stuff. I don't think we will. I think they're going to hold on to it. Like, mm. Rockstar is so specific. Like, they don't need to show us anything. They can drop it whenever the fuck they want. And that's yeah. it. That's all that matters. Um, in terms of other studios, I think that's about it for me on, like, what else we could see. There's probably going to be a bunch of other surprises or other little mm. things. But, uh, oh, uh, Judas, Ken Levine's new game, the Bioshock spiritual sequel that's right that game looks awesome that's supposed to be this year as well oh really it's, yeah it's funny we were talking about like uh, most to spay game for the rest of the year which maybe would be a good topic for our next episode for july because that's like the halfway point of the year what are we excited for um but that's probably up there too obviously mm -hmm. with space marine uh indiana jones and whatever yeah. else gets announced so anything else you, you're hoping to see from this uh, just real quick was just the uh, you just said it was Space Marine too. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, more of that. Yeah, I just want to see more. Uh, they just dropped like the PVE trailer where they just showed off like what you're gonna get in co-op, which is like a narrative story campaign and yeah. then separate co-op missions and on and, and multiplayer. Then they're gonna get a six v six, which I'm, it looks gears. Yeah, it looks like gears. And there was a Warhammer game called Eternal Crusade. It was like Warhammer, but it played like Battlefront. Oh, really? Yeah. So Turtle I'm hoping to see like similar kind of gameplay mechanics like that. It got canned. The online is oh, no see, longer. Yeah. yeah, it's no longer in service. 2016. But a lot like of people. Now. It kind oh, of gathered. Cool. Uh, yeah, it kind of gathered a cult classic. Like, classic is it like battle. MMO or literally like? No, battle? it's literally like the old OG Battlefront. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I see you have a team of the orcs, right? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm down for that. Yeah, so I'm hoping it kind of has like that similar gameplay loop, mm -hmm. but uh, definitely more well in tune, more modern. The six v six stuff looks cool. The classes look amazing. Yeah, the whatever they're they're gonna do is it's like six classes that you can pick and mm -hmm. choose from and upgrade, which I'm. I love that kind of stuff. So. Sweet, man. This is going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. Overall, though, to kind of end this out, uh, we have a new segment to kind of talk about, which is Phil. And this starts because Phil never finishes a fucking video game. It, <laughs> it like bugs the shit out of me that like I'll be like, oh, that was a great game. He goes, yeah, I played like 500 hours in it, but I never beat it. Yeah. And I'm like, how have you never beaten it? So I propose that we do this is since our podcast is basically monthly, mm -hmm. um, we might start doing more episodes throughout the month. We'll see. But um, as of right now, it's still monthly. We're gonna obviously you're gonna get extra episodes because of all this fucking showcase yeah. stuff. But um, how I want to do this, Phil, is right now you're gonna talk about a game that you have not beaten, but you want to beat, and you have to beat it before a month, the month back. Okay. Okay. And then vice versa. If I've never beaten that game, I have to do the same thing. I have to go play that game. Oh, so like the same game as me? Yeah. If I've already beaten it before. Then I just pick a different one that I've always wanted to beat. Okay? Okay. All right? So go. All right. Let's see here. One uh, game. Oh, man. You have thousands that you've never beaten. I know. So this should be easy for you to pick. Yeah. I think I would have to go back and beat Metal Gear Solid Five. Okay. That, That's that the one. Be, yeah. Okay. We were talking about it earlier, and we talked about how it is probably one of my most mechanically favorite games out oh yeah there. it just I agree. plays so nice it feels good to play and it's just a blast i love that game and i love that i game. have like 200 hours on it and yeah it didn't beat it blows my mind so. i have a I, I checked yesterday i have 120 there's yeah. how many so i beat the story and then i still played stuff i was like looking at my trophies and stuff mm -hmm. um i've already beaten that game so can't do that one i'm trying to think like there's one game, but I don't want to play it because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't really like it. What was it? The last final, not. Uh, I think it was Final Fantasy 16. I couldn't get okay. into it. The newest one. I just, I couldn't get into it. Um, I'm tr really trying to think. Um, uh, this is tough. You know what? I'll, I'll say. Uh, can I just say Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? Beat it before we come back. Yeah. I, I haven't started it. And I know if I hold myself to this podcast that I'm actually going to play it, I will, no. or else it's just going to sit on my Switch for another month and I won't touch it. Oh, okay, so, that's all right. right. Cool. Yeah. So you have to beat Phantom Pain mm -hmm. and I have to beat Paper Mario. Okay. Okay. If I, if you, I, I will be so mad if you did not, if you don't, beat Phantom <laughs> Pain. like I better see on steam. An extra like, like later today hours. when you go home, 
I'm gonna log into my Steam, and if I see you're playing anything else other than Phantom Pain, I'm gonna be like a little disappointed. <laughs> I might actually be pissed off. Yeah, you might see me get on multiverses for a little bit. Bro. With Noah. No. Phantom Pain. I know, I know. Okay, okay. But I'm being nice to Noah. So. Okay, well, be nice to him for an hour and then tell him you gotta play Phantom Pain. Yeah. Because now you don't have a choice. Now, now you're doing yeah, a podcast. Now, now you have to do this. Yes. The world has heard you. Yes. I will finish the Phantom Pain, one of the, one I think is like one of the best Metal Gears there is, besides yeah. four and four. three. Yeah, four, four and three are incredible. Yeah. But other than that, Phil, that is the Hot Mic Gaming episode two, man. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in. As always, I love doing these. I love speaking about video games, and despite the fact that I never finish them, I just get distracted by all the... The new FOMO, online-only, multiplayer, Finanza games. And I'm like, oh, I need to finish the Battle Pass. Which he also talked finish. shit about. I know. I hate it. but it's, You're such a hypocrite. It, it, it's addicting, but they know how... They, they know how to get you. Yeah, they know how to do it. It's down to a science at this yeah. point. So, but it's so, a good time, man. I ha- yeah. I always have fun doing this. This is our podcast. Mm-hmm. Definitely go check out Into the Geek versus episode two, where Phil talks a little bit more about himself, his favorite movies, his tank games. We talk about the month of June, what's coming out, movies, TV, games. But this is Hot Mike Gaming episode three. I had a blast as always doing this. We'll see you guys soon. Again, if we did do anything for the PlayStation Showcase, it'll be somewhere in this bubble. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're course. on Spotify, maybe I did the audio only for it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know what I did. Yeah. I guess you'll find out. If not, then it's exclusive to YouTube and you have to go subscribe there because it's oh, well, free. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and hit the bell. no matter where you listen or uh, watch us, please make sure to subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff. Yeah, and leave some comments. I love reading and just seeing what you guys think and what you guys think about the gaming industry and what games that you love. And yeah, throw us recommendations, yeah. you know. Now, I'm going to, can I call you out on something? Because yes. I'm going to do this with Tyler too. Yes. And I gar- I'm actually going to be kind of surprised. Okay. Open your YouTube right now. Okay. Okay. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Okay. Can you go to the Into the Geek first uh, channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah, you yeah. following it? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. I just have to pull it up. That's fine. That's fine. And then I want to check. Uh, I don't know if you use Spotify or Apple, but have you followed it there as well? Yeah, I haven't followed it on Spotify. Perfect. Cool. Phil wins, guys. Phil wins. Yeah, see? Cool. Because I know Tyler's not going to listen to this episode. So when we do rest stop rambles, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to warn him. And we're going to see if he actually follows them all or not. I don't know how to check. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't yeah. care. But that's all that matters is that you do. Yeah. I just want to check. Mm-hmm. We're going to come back and see if Tyler does it. Okay. Okay. We'll see. I think he, I think he has Spotify. Spotify? I, I don't I'd be think disappointed he, if he doesn't have Spotify because he listens to podcasts. Yeah. But I will say if I will also be disappointed if he doesn't have it on YouTube. Mm. You know, one time I looked at my mom's phone and she wasn't following me on YouTube. <laughs> Bro, I was like, Mom, Mom it's why? fucking free. So yes. she made three accounts. <laughs> so other Mom's than that, guys, sweet. yeah. Other than that, guys, thank you so much again for watching this. And, of course, until next time, stay classy, keep playing games, all that stuff. Yep. Have a great week, and thank you as always.